then there'll be like guards, old dudes with uniforms that will just try to stop you from actually coming out. So let's we'll see what happens. Coffee. No good thing. No, 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 no. Coffee. No, no, no. We want to go that way, We've got another entrance. Hundreds of tourists every day attempt to visit this iconic part of the city, only to be turned away. For the past week, I've been experiencing Vietnam, including this train street where for the first time right, I didn't so have any issues. As you can see, I was walking on the tracks, seeing what it was like and no, getting some photos. Really a haircut on the tracks. But as we're gonna see very soon, using different entrances, it's a whole nother story. Loads of cafes as well. So today we're gonna go see just what it's like and make sure you're prepared for when you okay, visit so this part of the world. so we're heading to the famous train street to try get up there and have breakfast, but at the entrance, there's people, or like these guards, so I'm pretty sure aren't police or anything, that stop people from coming in. I was walking past yesterday, and there was a girl trying to get in to go on the train tracks and have a coffee and stuff. And the, the people that block you just weren't letting her and like grabbing her and pushing her away. So I'm gonna try, so I'm gonna try and go there today. Hopefully they are there trying to stop us so we can record it show you what it's like and hopefully so you can figure out how to avoid it when you come here as well. So train streets just all up here. It goes along for like probably a K down the road. We're almost there so let's see if they're there and we're gonna be stopped and harassed for trying to have a coffee beside the train tracks. So if you are arriving, this entry which is further, this entry here which is further down from the entry up there is probably your best bet because oftentimes, especially early in the morning, there's no one actually here. So obviously they just point to these signs and you can easily just walk up to get onto the tracks if you really want no hassle. But today I want to try and find these people and try and get stopped and figure out a way to get them. Just so if it happens to you, you can get past it and figure it out. But yeah, you can see cafes, cafes and stuff. But let's hope that the people are there trying to stop us. So when I arrive, there's going to be ladies trying to get me to come to their cafe. Um, and then there'll be like guards, old dudes with uniforms that will just try to stop you from actually coming up. So let's see what happens. Here we go. Yes please, yes please. So we'll invite you up and then see what happens now. Yes please. <laughs> okay, so this first attempt didn't go quite to plan. Compared to last time when I didn't have my camera, they seemed to all be looking at my phone and tripod and seemed to just turn away and didn't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> you can get kind of anything you want. So I might get, it's pretty early, so I might get some breakfast. We're starting the day off here. And hopefully we can see a train come past as well, which would be unreal. Uh, could I please have the coconut coffee? I might try hot, hot please. And fried rice chicken. So this was the first group that I saw. And I wasn't sure what was happening because they were already on this side of the tracks. But if you're in this situation, I think they're saying that they must go buy a coffee, then they can leave, or they're simply just not letting them cross the track, which is pretty strange. Here we can see this guy. He seems to be the main guard here. So when you visit, try to avoid him or be prepared for a bit of conflict. As we're going to see later in the video, he really doesn't like people simply walking alongside the tracks. And he's accompanied by six or seven others who just sit there too. Thank you. Chicken fried rice, coconut coffee, and a view. So as the day went on, more and more people came to the track. Some got let on and some got turned away. And as you can see here, there was another guard who had an entire uniform on, which 
for protecting part of the train tracks is a little excessive. Thank you. After this, however, I headed off and knew that I'd have to come back and try again. So didn't get really yelled at. They kind of just let me through to that, which is funny for filming. I think it might have had something to do with me filming the kind of me going in. They kind of seemed to notice the camera. So, so if you are going, just walk in and don't stop. Just keep your eye on. Right, round two, here we go. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So we're here. Jeez, I don't get it. You can go. We're getting coffee. Coffee. No working. We're getting coffee. Go, go around. Go around. Let's get some coffee. No, no, no. Heal, heal. We're just gonna take some photos no, no, and come no. back and get coffee. For, for lick. Yeah. We want to go, go that around. way though. Yeah, for police. Yeah, yeah. We go that way and come back. No. Yeah. Well, yeah. we'll get some photos. After leaving the main entrance, we headed down the street about 500 meters and we found another entrance. So we thought we'd give it a go and try get in, going past the two security guards. No, 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 no. Well, I get coffee? No, coffee, no. Coffee. We have friends. No, 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 no. Why not? No, no. Police? 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 Cafe? Cafe, no, cafe, no. Police? Police? We then saw a local waving at us who was sitting inside his coffee shop. So we turned around and went to investigate to try to find him. Oh, we found another entrance. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Thank you. What is it about the street that uh, they don't want people walking yeah. on it? Yeah. 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 On the way, on the way, it's closed. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it? Because here, yeah, it's yeah, three, three years ago. Mm -hmm. Man, it's yeah, high from city, go back to Hanoi. Mm -hmm. About it, yeah, accident, it's yeah, one people, uh, it's police, yeah. And then it's police and security. So, after this, I stopped recording, had a coffee, and headed off. He was basically just saying, after there were not many tourists around in the past few years, some incidents happened and they are a lot more strict with people trying to get on the tracks now. Hopefully this gives you a good idea into where you should be approaching the tracks, how to deal with the situation, how to avoid it, and how to just have a good time whilst you visit Hanoi, Vietnam. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.